for a second. Greg, you, you have a, a theory on the, on the end? Yeah, okay, when you see a play that was so dis deliberately self-destructive, the only thing you could conclude is that it was an inside job. And after all, the coach, uh, <laughs> coach Pete Carroll is a 9-11 truther. He believes the government had something to do with, the, with, the, with what happened that it ended up in the deaths of what, almost 3,000 people. So I believe that this is an inside job. I, I'm, but now I have to wonder, why did Pete Carroll throw the game? And it's in order to lose his job so he can go work for Alex Jones. That's my theory. <laughs> but but there's, actually some, theory. there's actually some truth, truth to this. What, what Carroll did was he thought himself out of the right call. Mm -hmm. There was an expected and obvious play that he had to make, and he chose the more complicated one, which is exactly what a truther does. A truther sees the obvious before you. He sees the planes hitting the building, but he chose the more complicated idea because it appears edgier and it would p appear daring and brave if you're actually right. But if the truthers are right, they would be heroes, but they're wrong, so they're fools. You're, you're, that's the most or, unique assessment of this game anybody's had since the low. I didn't know he was going to go truther, to be honest. So there you go, people. That's just more of the, you know, mind control propaganda put out by Fox News, and it, it, it's just a bunch of bullshit. My hair looks fucking weird. I just noticed that. Probably should do a little bit of fix in there to make it look at least halfway decent. But anyway, back to the subject. You know, this guy coming out, making fun of, you know, saying jokes. Ha <laughs> ha, you know, it's so funny, and it's it's so complicated, and it's such a radical idea to think 9-11 was an inside job. And he's acting like, yeah, I like how he's like, they don't think the logical shit. They, you know, they think the illogical shit. Well, is it really logical to think this? This is what he believes. He thinks 19 Islamic radicals conspiring with a guy in a cave beat NORAD, overpowered four planes, uh, you know, took over four planes, crashed into their targets, three out of their four targets with precision, even though... They could not fly a Cessna right before 9-11. They smashed their targets with complete precision. While there were not only one or two, but numerous warnings about these attacks such that I actually have right here on the floor. I have a ton. I could actually show them to you because I'm doing a 9-11 whole video exposing 9-11 as an inside job. Look at all these articles I have on the floor. You know, that are just, and those aren't, I, I got them in piles too, so there's, most piles have more than, much more than one article here, you know. I'll go through a pile here, just the title, CIA agent alleged to have met Bin Laden in July, that one's from 2001. I, uh, I'll go through ones that have good titles here. Um, Al-Qaeda terrorists work with FBI, San Francisco, San Francisco Gate. Um, hijacker's ex-landlord landlord was FBI informant, CNN. Taliban agreed Bin Laden handover in 98, The Guardian. Clinton on September 10th, 2001, I could have killed Bin Laden, but I didn't. U.S. was foiled multiple times in efforts to capture Bin Laden or have him killed. That's from the uh, Washington Post. Clinton let Bin Laden slip away. That's from L.A. Times. Let him slip away and metastasize. Taliban told U.S. it would give give up Osama bin Laden. That's from one of the top. That's from the top newspaper in Australia. So there you go, people. I mean, just some of the articles, just a few of the articles that I've printed off. You know, just exposing that we had so many much prior information to this. So that's that that's the logical theory according to this Fox News reporter. No, 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 that's not the logical theory if you look at all the facts and information, which he probably won't look at himself. I mean, you could see the 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 uh I believe it's the North Tower coming down. You could see the the, the fucking explosives blowing up at right as it's falling. Like four times in a row. It's the exact same you know, there's the impact, you know, in a certain area and it's coming down. Well, before, like, a few stories below the impact, you could see the the dust 
uh, flying out of the building, it, just like an explosive board. It's doing it in a consecutive fashion on both sides of the building and like the same... It, it's fucking just clearly an inside job. And if this Fox reporter would wake up and look at the facts and if the American people would get their heads out of their asses and stop watching this mind control, brainwashing Fox News, CNN, MSNBC... They all fucking suck, people. And you're not going to get the truth by listening to them. You're going to get the truth by listening to people like, you know, Drudge Report is pretty good, Infowars, World Net Daily, um, you know, Jesse Ventura, Mark Dice. Those are the people you're going to get most of good information about because they are actually real people. They don't bow down to government. You know, Rand Paul, Ron Paul are a few good ones to get your information from. So this Fox News tard likes to think that 9-11 was actually done by Al-Qaeda, you know, and he makes a point that, you know, they don't, you know, they, they, they didn't, uh, he, he says something like, you know, they don't think the, the planes even fly into the building. He's like, they choose to not even realize that the planes flew into the building. Yeah, we, we acknowledge that the planes flew into the building which we dispute is who was actually behind the planes going into the building. You know, like, they take, they create some crazy conspiracy theories or they take, you know, some people's crazy conspiracy theories about, you know, 9-11 not even having planes. Like, some people think that it was, like, a hologram and there was no planes used and it was, like, a complete, like, computer-animated bullshit or whatever. No, I don't think that happened. I think they legitimately did it. But, you know, then they take those conspiracy theories and associate that with all 9-11 conspiracy theories. No, we're, we're very sophisticated, sophisticated, we're very smart, and we know what the fuck we're talking about. And you notice they'll just say, oh, look at that 9-11 conspiracy theorist, he's crazy, ha <laughs> let's make a joke laugh, ha ha ha. Let's then actually pay attention to what he's saying and legitimately attack what he's saying and try to dispute it and try to debunk it. No, we're just gonna, you know, say he's crazy. Well, let me tell you something, Fox News. That doesn't. That might have worked ten years ago, you know, in two thousand two or two thousand three or whatever. But that does not work anymore. You cannot just call us crazy. You know that we're getting much bigger. Alternative media is, is exploding. You know, pages like myself on YouTube are probably exploding. Twitter pages, social media, it's exploding with people that are just awake to your corruption. And your fucking audience there at Fox News is diminishing. And if you continue to spew out your propaganda bullshit, it's going to be uh, diminished much more. And more people are going to turn to the good side and realize the truth. That 9-11 was an inside job. And that there's criminals inside the government that are very, very, very corrupt. And that is including you, Fox News. You are very, very, very corrupt. Alright? So how about this, Fox News? You acknowledge that you are liars. You acknowledge that 9-11 was an inside job, and you join the movement for freedom and the truth. You know, I don't wish death on Dick Cheney or George Bush or people like George Soros or the Rockefellers. I wish that they will have an awakening, an epiphany on all these corrupt, corrupt people in the world. I, I hope that they have an epiphany and realize that what they've done is so wrong by murdering 3,000 people. Not necessarily like every corrupt person that was involved, but I just hope that they realize the fact that 9-11 was an inside job. Admit to their crimes, you know, people like Dick Cheney. Admit to their lies. Admit that they have been deceived. And just join the movement for truth and join the movement for freedom. You know, if you come out and admit you're wrong, admit that, yes, 9-11 was an inside job, I'm not going to make fun of you. I'm going to be very grateful that you had the courage to say that you've been wrong for the past 14 years. So come out, people. Just say 9-11 was an inside job. Do your research and learn the truth, people. So there you go. Fox News is retarded for making fun of Pete Carroll. All right, Pete Carroll has courage to say 9-11 was, or, or at least question 9-11. So I have admiration for Pete Carroll. Good job, Pete Carroll. Uh, and as usual... Way to be fucking retards, Fox News. You're just exposing yourself. Uh, it's more bullshit. So how about you join the movement for freedom and the truth, Fox News. All right, people. There's your video on Fox News demonizing Pete Carroll for saying 9-11 was an inside job, which it was. So there you go.